Julian, if you want, while you're looking for that, we could review real quick the uh, the trailer. I don't know how close you are. You think? Uh, no. Feel free. Yeah. Feel okay. Free yeah. yeah. Let's put that put that trash on the TV. Yeah. Let's see. Hang on. Let me. I heard that on the trailer page. If you go to the comments. Oh yeah, it's getting it's just getting destroyed. Oh yeah, all these quotes. See, even the yeah. Russians. Is that the yeah. Russians? Yeah. It's the like quote. It's it's the quote. Yeah, evil is not capable of creating anything new. Yeah. yeah. Well, those I are mean, probably is... those are of course Russian bot accounts, and no doubt Amazon paid them to come through and do precisely that so that they can say the Russian bots. I, are I love that this is all here. Russian and whatever language this is. Uh, what is that? Czech or something like that? Polish. It might be Polish. Fuck Polish. Uh, <laughs> now you're dude, why to... is this all in Russian? Because Amazon saw Look what was this. happening, sent, sent money to people to go send <laughs> bots to copy it in Russian so that they could say that Russian bots were brigading their video. It just Guaranteed. Keeps, it just keeps going. Ah, uh, let's hey, see. Hey, I... Contribute, contribute <laughs> your own. Yo, we yo, need to bot. contribute our own. We need to brigade it as well. All right, what do we do? What should we contribute? We 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 contribute the quotation. Oh, okay. Let's see. Got to we got to we got to jump on this, man. This is a movement now. Um Damn it. All right. I got to find the English one so I can copy and paste it. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Hold on. Add comment. There we go. Boom and dislike. Oh yeah, boom dislike. Dude, the uh, the guys that the guys that have the uh, Chrome extension that lets you still see the dislike count, like it's at least this morning. The last time I saw somebody put a video out that was recent, it's it's almost one to one. For there what? are as there are as many dislikes as there are likes. Wait, how do they see that? There's a Chrome extension that you can get. That, uh, uh, so it's actually you... it's still in the source on the page, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can see that manually. How do I see the source on the page with that button? How do I, I don't this? know. Let's see. There's some sort of Chrome extension. Let's see. No, you don't need a Chrome extension. There's a source button. Oh, you wow. can see this. Like it even says Chrome extension YouTube dislikes. Return YouTube dislike. Let's see. What if I add this one? I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add this extension. Incoming virus. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, here we go. If you hit Control U, there it is. I got it now. Ninety thousand to ninety six. And that's the U.S. version. I heard the the U.K. version is much the same. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, we need to step up our game. What? Oh, we, for the dislike? We, we can't meet them step for step. <laughs> that's just true. They're definitely. Uh... But still, do you know how many people must have seen this trailer premiered during the Super Bowl? Yeah. It's been on. How many views? Which is part of the reason that it's trash. 27 million views and it's like a one to one basic like to dislike ratio like that's still pretty bad that's actually not a lot of like and dislike participation for 27 million is it uh let's see i've the, seen like music no videos that have you know a 10 percent participation yeah like yeah that's what i would say the normal that i've seen is about 10 like 10 percent yeah. You'd normally, you'd normally get about like whatever your views are. You'd get ten percent, like likes. You know, mm -hmm. like this. This should have about two million. This should have about two million. It likes. seems like a lot of people are unaffected. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Let me go through and like all the Russian comments while you play. <laughs> are we Are we playing it? I don't think I get copy struck for this. There's other people who've done trailer reactions, so who cares? It's not like you're making money anyway. This is oh, they, true. They can't take you down. Well, they could take you down. But... They probably could take me down. But, I mean, dude, everybody's made a trailer reaction. Nobody Hopefully cares. they lie about you when they do it. Yeah, somebody defame me. Uh, can y'all hear the uh, – y'all can hear the audio when I share? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's having trouble loading. 
Is that just on my end? I don't know. Maybe. Is it, is it running smooth for you? Yeah. You restarted it, it looks like to me. I can see a black screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I restarted it. Okay. Haven't you ever wondered what else is out there? All right, pause. Let's take what? Hold on. Let me get dark. Oh, we paused too late. So, like, what do you think about the setting here? I actually, all right. So, in general, like, having looked at it and seen the trailer a couple times, like, I actually, I think the CGI, in general, it looks like it. It looks good. Like this, this doesn't look awful to me. Yeah. But, but on the other hand, aside from like them wanting to copy the the statues of the kings by the river right here, like this doesn't look. This looks like it could be just generically anything. Well, what I notice is a lot of the uh, archways, which are very Gondorian from the films. Like we got a lot of white rock. That uh, yeah. light, that light tower there, the lighthouse. That looks a lot. That looks very Gondorian to me. Thinking about, yeah, I mean, like Gondor had a lot of coastal cities too, and I can see them drawing their architecture from old Numenorean yeah. I ancestry. Actually, like, yeah. like I didn't, I, I, I didn't hate hate the trailer i think i'm okay with this look yeah like it but... looks it does look all right yeah uh all right i think i'm okay with this uh, yeah the aesthetic have you seen this yet yeah of course okay all right i'm just, wanna... just being like you know all right kind I... of... got you got you got you there's wonders in this world beyond oh, yeah all right, all right yeah what are these things but you know these are supposed to be from from what i've heard like these are supposed to be the the harfoots they look the, like from Narnia. The the pre harbits the, the pre hobbits. Pre -hobbits. So, so even though at least in the source material there are no hobbits in this age. Yeah. But um, um, what are the what are the things that they have? Are there wings? I don't know. Or... Like we don't get that. I'm wondering. We don't really get a super. So they look like elkhorns. You know, they look like yeah, they're yeah. hard. They're obviously hard. Um. I think I saw like a behind the scenes where it was attached to their backs, though. Just kind of weird. That's interesting. Well, it didn't look like in the later scene <laughs> where we see the girl up close, the girl hobbit, whatever up close. Like she doesn't look like she's. I, didn't, that, I wasn't sure that she was a hobbit, but got that attached to her. We'll get a look at her. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, the big wide sweeping shots. That's very I do like that. I mean, yeah, that's nod good. to uh, what's his face, Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pause. Yeah, her. Yeah. Is she a hobbit? I think I get why you'd say that because she looks really scraggly. Like this is, but well, there's they're not hobbits, I guess. They're supposed to be right. like the pre the pre hobbits or whatever. So maybe the men grow horns. That would you know that'd be sort of drawing on animals. That'd be weird. That's yeah, that is, that's that is choice, more but... that is more Narnian. That's like that's the fun thing. Then yeah, but I could see them making that choice, and I can't be like mad at them about that choice, even if they think it was stupid. Why? I'm not mad about it. Why? Because it's not like they're changing something established. They're exploring something sort of new. Okay. So, like, whatever, you know. I, I wouldn't have done that, but I'm not going to be, like, angry about it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm angry about other things. Hmm. I can feel it. I, I have heard people just, you know, I don't know if they're nitpicking or whatever. I'm, I don't really care. Uh about the like just this line here, like before the king, I get that the reference has to be to like Aragorn and the return of the king, but there there are definitely kings yeah. of Numenor and like like there there are there are kings during this time period. The king, so we assume that the king is. Uh, I think that's I what, guess, yeah. I think that's what's meant to be conveyed here, but you know. that's a, yeah, that's just a bad choice, but whatever. <laughs> I like this waterfall, even though it's like way over the top, and I resent this part. So, hold on. I, well, let's go back, <laughs> to the, go back to the waterfall because yeah, that was cool. Uh, yeah, let's let's talk about this this resentful part. I want to hear I want to hear about it, Joe. Well, this is stupid. All right, all right, all right. All right it's, it's, it pause anywhere. Like, yeah. Do you yeah. know? Like, is this Gladriel? First of all, yeah, I, I if it's Gladriel, that gives me a little bit more. Like, okay. Why? <laughs> because Gladriel's like magic, and I'll give it to her. But what's going on here is just ridiculous and over the top. And that's, I don't like that already. Like, there's going to be a prediction. There will be a stupid, contrived reason why she is hanging from a cliff. 
<laughs> it will be it will be one of those threats that came out of nowhere and passed into nowhere just to add a tension beat to the story because the algorithm says we need a tension beat now. Hmm. That's that's what I get from this scene, and I'm reading too much into it. I know, <laughs> but I'm right too. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I also when I when I saw this little clip too, my first the first thing I noticed was that like at first I like the CGI seemed like really, really obvious, almost to the extent that it looked like I almost thought I was looking at something like a video game. Was before she, she like before, before she, she like left? showed her face, I was like, okay, her face looks real. But then like it's the rest of her CGI? like a, a couple of it kind of looks like it to me. Freeze frame in the middle of her jump for me. I, I feel like if it's CGI, it's CGI like amplified. They would have certainly had her do something very similar to this and then maybe touched it up or something. Like that? Or... I'm not willing to say for sure that they just CGI'd her body or something. This would have yeah, been an easy scene to yeah. shoot anyway. I don't know. It just looks like on, a video game. Put her on yeah. ropes. She's probably flat on the ground. <laughs> uh, maybe not because her cloak is hanging down but you know. yeah i yeah. i mean granted like video games are getting freakishly realistic now so yeah i don't know but you're yeah. getting freaky <laughs> Jeez. what <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's definitely return of the king yeah yeah before the king yeah, I mean, I know that's what they were going for, but still, it's just that's that's technically an inaccurate statement. But oh yeah, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I didn't know arrows were flying at him. So he is he catching oh, yeah. an arrow? Is that what yeah, he's, he's doing? Catching he catches arrow. the arrow out You're of midair, and... over the top stuff. Here and we go. I'm trying to remember where I've seen that before. It was in another one of those things where, like, you know. It was an arrow or a knife or whatever, and you know they throw it at the the minority hero who like grabs it out of midair and throws it back, right? Which is what he's doing with the Wait, arrow here. Is that Mulan? Does she do something like that? I never saw Mulan. I, I think uh, she actually kicks she, arrows back. If I I never saw the film, but I just heard a lot. I of think I do recall it. seeing something about that in the trailer too. She uses her chi or something. Whatever, yeah. So yeah, he catches I, the arrow out of midair. Uh, this is something that Jackson started to fall into as he went on. What? Uh, this over-the-top sort of stunt. Stunts, yeah. Over-the-top stunts that the characters mm. would perform. Mm. Oh, like so it was definitely compare, a compare Legolas yeah, doing yeah. Like, it's very basic stuff. The, uh, well, no, no, not even The Hobbit. I'm in the trilogy here. So, like, in The oh. Fellowship, he's not doing much. He walks on the snow and he doesn't sink. He's able to jump very easily from one platform to another in Moria. Yeah. And then, like, Helm's Deep, he slides down the stairs on the shield. And you're like, right. that's yeah. cheeky, but <laughs> we're on. And then by the Return of the King, he's, like, flipping up and around Ollie Fonts, you know, totally I think CGI. That in, I think that part's in the book. Surfing down the go... nose of the Ollie Font. Not the sliding down the nose of the Oliphant, it's, but like him taking down the Oliphant and and everybody on it by himself. There's that's, no that's, sense of restraint when you can animate book, whatever I you think. want. It's not. Yeah. Come on. Uh, no, that part is not him sliding down the nose, but him taking down – no, him taking down the Oliphant by himself is in the book. I'm pretty sure. Like I just read it over Christmas. Okay. I don't distinctly remember, but even if he does, like I am sure that Tolkien does not – even if that's only probably there's no way it's only even leaves it open to interpretation how wild <laughs> yeah. legolas is uh i might have to pull it out just for are there because he later. he's yeah. deliberately puts legolas down in places he's like mm. you know why why would legolas be the guy that's in the fellowship i think he was asked this at some point in, in an interview or something why did they pick legolas there's way better marksmen you know and way better elven soldiers that they could have sent but uh, they send a prince of the elves as because the fellowship is in a way representative of the common action of the, the West, right? Mm -hmm. And Legolas is a better representative because he's a prince, even when there were stronger, better elves that could have went and would have went. So anyway, um, I yes, yeah, so this, this scares me because... I, I think what was so good about the Lord of the Rings and its combat was that it it was it was fantastic in like the very literal sense of the word 
but it wasn't overwhelming and just unbelievable, mm-hmm. right? Uh, for the most part. And then, yeah. we, and that's, I think Jackson was restrained by his practical effects for a large part of his uh, production process. And then he started to get new toys and he couldn't resist. And it seems like everybody <laughs> is falling into that trap. They're all just trying to like one up, like how can we make the CGI guy do something even more impressive as if that's going to somehow take mm-hmm. us into the story when it does the complete opposite. Nobody's impressed with something like this. Nobody thinks, Oh, well, that's cool. He caught an arrow. <laughs> you know? Uh, all right. I, I've said enough. Well, all right. I are, think, are, I think are you done? Decent amount of people would. Uh, the people with no brain, right? They would watch it and be like, Oh yeah. Oh, this is why I'm watching it. Yeah. Yeah, then they fall asleep again during the (laughs) the rest of the story. Right, yeah. What story? That's the other thing. Like, I know it's a teaser trailer, but like, this did, like, I've got no idea what any of this is going to be about. I've seen that. that, But they did that because the Super Bowl audience. Maybe so. This is a Super Bowl commercial. You shouldn't forget that. I'm sure they have more to offer than just stunts. Let's hope so. I hope so. Why did he catch that arrow when his quiver is full? What do you mean? His quiver is full, and he's like, yes. "Let me not even just step aside. Let me catch oh. the arrow." Well, because, because he's whatever he's arrows awesome. they're throwing at me must be to- better than my <laughs> elven arrows. Give me a break. We have to know how awesome he is. Yes, that's did literally the only reason he forgot. That must be it. No, did you forget <laughs> that this is the? Oh. <laughs> 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 uh this is also the matrix mm. oh yeah yeah some you're bullet right. time in there yeah 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 there better yeah. be bullet middle time. earth well there was just was we just witnessed it yeah and look go back go back go back all right they just do things for the sake of doing things look at the way he draws the arrow his hand is upside down like they're doing this like the suggestion oh. i suppose is something like there's He's so good that he has his just... own like masterful. T- there's is there what? There's a comment I could make publicly, but I won't. Here we go. Well, I don't. Hold on. The, the only reason they did it's it. It's like that. That's it's like that. It could be like that. I I, I think they <laughs> the really they just wanted him to do something different that was a sign of his character. They show that he's so good with a bow that he can pl- he can do it in a different way than everyone else because he found a better way than everyone else, right? That's the suggestion that's subtly here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like, I think I've, uh, I, I don't, I think that grip on the, on the string, I don't think there's like no precedent for it. I think I've seen it before, but oh, yeah, it's definitely not common. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Cause it's um, like, like, I think it's, I don't uh, know that. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever I, seen an archer like reverse grip like that. I well, for one thing, uh, the main reason that I <laughs> that, like the main you've seen it in anime. Tell me you haven't seen it. In anime. <laughs> no, dude, it wasn't. I've a seen it in Legend of Zelda. Video game man. in Breath of the Wild. That's how he holds the thing. He goes like that. Okay, um, so they're 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 just nodding to they're Breath of the Wild from, here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> come on. Uh, this, is, this is just this is just Link. That's drawing his, inspiration. Is, right? yeah. This is just Link. This is that's all right. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he has the same ears. What else? Could he <laughs> right, who's that? All right, hold on. I gotta I gotta stop and this right. What's his name? Glorfindel. Oh, who this been? guy? Yeah. Yeah. So like nobody knows who this is. There's a couple of there are a couple of um, what Celeborn I think is from this time period, yeah Glorfindel. It's gotta be Glorfindel, right? He he he's the one who made the rings. That's who they would show. Isn't, I, didn't Glorfindel make the rings? I'd have that. I would have to go back. It's been, uh, it's been at least a year since I've read Silmarillion, because uh, I read that I read them every other year. And I just read Lord of the Rings this past year, so. Oh, maybe he didn't make all the rings, um, but I, I think he's he made the One Ring, or something. No, Sauron made the One Ring. Uh, well, okay, he's involved somehow in this. 
There is an Elvin Smith that's involved in this, and he was like, oh, sure. Deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his name? I don't remember. Let's see. The only thing I'm seeing here, the Master Smiths of Origion. I want to know who the guy was. Yeah, Celebrimbor, the three rings. Oh, Celebrimbor, that's it. Yeah, yeah the three yeah, rings. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the, Orphan the big... just that big badass fighter guy, right? Maybe. And wasn't he even, was he still alive during the time of the rings, like in the Third Age? No, I think something happened. He either he, he, he got like I taken he, up into heaven or something. Well, yeah, I think he sailed off to the west, right? Earlier. Okay, in, okay uh, well, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not really. I was thinking <laughs> something different. Um, no, because he's not he's not around anymore by the time we reach the third age. But huh. Hmm. Sounds like he oh, so he died and did he come back to life? No, even if the elves who died, they go to the Hall of Mandos. Well, I think Glorfindel might have... Yeah, he was re-embodied by the Valar to act as an emissary and return to Middle-Earth millennia afterwards. He died in a battle with a Balrog. Oh, I think maybe I do remember something about that. He's super badass. Hmm. I want to read... I, the one thing I am going to do, I'm going to break my precedent and tradition, and I'm actually going to reread The Silmarillion over the summer before this comes out. That's probably going to be... Yeah. This this comes out in September. Like over the summer, I'm going to reread Silmarillion, like to at least preserve it in my mind before Amazon ruins it. Uh, and so I have a, a more decent base for so that we can, you know, review all the episodes for, of course. Uh, Wait, yeah, Glorfindel was alive in the Third Age, or he was walking the earth. I don't know if alive is the right word, but that's interesting. He was sent by Lord Elrond to search for Frodo and his companions. He pursued some of the Nazgul and drew them away from the ford at Bruin. That was that guy? Yeah. Because I remember that guy. Cause, yeah, well, because in the movie, they changed his character yeah, to, to, Arwen. Uh, to Arwen, who finds them in the forest. That was Glorfindel finds them well, in the forest? Well, I don't know. That, I haven't read him that he found them in the forest yet. Um, well, somebody, remember after Frodo? Oh, yeah. Glorfindel, Sam, puts Frodo, Glorfindel yeah. put Frodo on his white horse, Aspaloth, yeah. and bade the horse to take Frodo to Rivendell. That was Glorfindel, dude. Yeah, because in, the in, the, in the movie, they changed it to Arwen. And I remembered, even when I saw the movie, I was like, that was not how it was in the books. It was but a dude. If they, if they put Glorfindel in the movie, everybody would have been like, why did you pick Legolas? And they would have had to explain that, and then nobody would have understood. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. Glorfindel is stupid powerful. Um, All right. Anyway, well, if you look at the thing that I'm the the oh, screen, that I'm I can't sharing. see what you're sharing, and it feels no, sharing. yeah. So this is the closest thing I could find to uh, that kind of thing. Nice. But so it's not exactly Florida man draws bow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think that it just requires like a very specific kind of bow, like it felt like a compound bow or something. Uh, I don't know if ever would require it's not, but I, I don't think say, it's I've, like I've seen even in yeah, competition they'll draw a compound bow in the in the normal the, the yes, normal way yeah. whatever. But my point is I don't think it's totally without precedent of a kind. Granted, he's not even he's not even necessarily like holding the string directly. He's like holding this thing that's holding the string. Right. There's a and clip thing to, that holds the string and they squeeze yeah. or something to release the that's how compound bows work. Yeah. So at the very least, I think we could say that. Well, what, what, it, what is at least a possibility, I think, is that, like... They saw this you know, somewhere. They saw this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, they were like, you know, oh, we got him. Yeah. Yeah, that looks Ooh. cool, they said, when they saw yeah. it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody was drunk that night, and they were like, dude, <laughs> you know what I saw the other night? Like, let's do that. All right, well... I just hope it doesn't signify any more than that somebody said that looks cool, but I just... I just don't want them to like just be thinking like that. I don't want them to be thinking, oh, I got to include something cool now. What's the algorithm say to write next? You know, that's all, all right. I'm looking for. Yeah. We right. know so. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right. I do have to, I do want to pause here, right? Again, because I just, I just want to emphasize again, right? She's not least, riding side saddle. I know. Uh, well, they're, they're, yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I have to, you know, I'm, I, it's finally time that somebody stood up and called this out, right? Women, women ride side saddle. Angelina Jolie did. Oh, is that actually talk. what we're about to talk about? I was definitely <laughs> no. joking. I know. I was trying to play out the joke. Thank oh, okay, you. Okay. Thank you for right, ruining sorry. it, Joe. I, I never know, that. Phil. I got an emo or something in the chat so that I know. Oh, sorry. I, know I don't support you. Yeah. That's yeah. my bad. <laughs> I was trying to play the joke out. I mean, if I'm Angelina sh- Jolie can do it in Laura Croft, then, I mean, you know, clearly. Oh, she did? I've never seen that one. Oh, uh, no. She rides side saddle, like shooting and everything in, in the first Laura Croft movie. That's a, pretty cool. probably more of a Native American reference, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, I really don't, but no, I just, I want to just emphasize again. That's what I want to see. I want to see them and they, they'll do this. They'll do it. They're going to use the, the Native American technique where they would actually hide on the side of the horse mm. and circle and shoot. You're going to see that. That could just, be interesting. Just, yeah. It's interesting, but the reason yeah, they're going to include it is not for the right reason. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like I'm sure there's a lot. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot I'm of. Them. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of interesting things that will be done, but not for the right reason. Yeah. Right. But anyway, this is not Galadriel. Like I just, just from somebody who's at least read the source material, like this, this isn't Galadriel. I just, you know. So who was there. it? Who who was who is whose character is she stepping into or filling in for in these? I don't know. Okay. Like so, I mean, that's one of the things about the Silmarillion. Like, it's it's not really heavy on on a lot of detail, just because it it covers a. I mean, it covers a span of a couple thousand years in like little mm-hmm. paragraph sections. Like, it's it's mm-hmm. not really it's not really finished. Like even even the format that it's been published in, like it's it's just kind of unfinished. Did I talk to you guys about? I can't remember who I was talking to uh, about that compression they're doing from the. I don't know broad, if you talked broad to me. amount of time to like 50 years you, or whatever. I don't know if you talked to me about it. I don't recall that. Well, I just saw somewhere, maybe on Reddit or something, somebody suggesting like, wouldn't it have been cool if they actually just let this play out so that these events really are spaced super far apart and that each season is like. But I mean, yeah, they're uh, already committed to apart. five seasons. You might well, have got the, the time. The angle this guy suggested with, or girl, so she suggested that was really good was that. Uh, the human characters that you meet each season would, of course, be dead by the next season. Sure. And and you would – the elves oh. would – well, this, it's not so. It's interesting. The elves and the dwarves would pass from season to season, and you would get a better sense of what it's like to be an elf that lives for a thousand years and sees all of these lifetimes come and go in the world of men. Hmm. Right. So, so there's all kinds of narrative things you could do with the – the constant awareness the audience will have that these characters will not be here later. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you could explore what it's like for an elf to maybe fall in love with a person. And then, you know, after, after like a few seasons, once mm-hmm. you've got like that sort of cycle going and you mm-hmm. know that as they start to fall in love with this human person, yeah. you know, that, that human person is going to die and leave them. Like, ah, there's interesting <laughs> things here, man. Yeah. Well, that's one of the like one of the greatest stories of all of Middle Earth. They they've got they have Baron and Luthien like right at their fingertips. Mm, yeah. And I don't know that they're ever gonna do, I don't know that they're ever gonna do anything with that. They're they're they they don't really get involved with like much else though, right? She like goes to the separate spheres or something to find him after he dies or whatever, doesn't she? It goes sings, into, I, sings yeah. Luthien's lament or whatever that song is. It's the most beautiful song that was ever sung. Yeah. Well, it's in a lot of different versions. I have, yeah. I've, I've got the book that you know has all of the different evolutions of the story. It's actually pretty cool. Mm. Uh, but yeah, like, like but, different I mean, Tolkien versions. Yeah, like all of the different styles. Like yeah, Tolkien rewrote that story so many times, and mm. Christof- Christopher put it into a book, Baron and mm. Luthien, and my sister gave it to me for Christmas like a couple of years back. And that's cool. Yeah, it is actually pretty cool. But anyway, I just want to again. This this just this isn't Galadriel, you know. Whatever. I think else. the does the armor on the left does that reflect Eastern garb what, to you guys? What armor on the left? Up. It's not really armor. It's more like the guy riding the horse. Right. It here? looks like like Eastern Lamela or something from from my perspective. But I don't know. It's, yeah, the, you don't you don't see yeah. much in the series here. They're listing her as right. What the commander of like the Northern armies or whatever. 
that just looks like loose fitting clothing, which speaks to a yeah. hotter environment. Not that they're thinking that hard about things like that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, like the Echo Adriel again. I don't think. No, I don't think so. I thought that was her. Go back. Look at the chainmail. No, that's a dude. No, no, that's, a, that's definitely a dude. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, like, the CGI doesn't look. Actually, the CGI doesn't look terrible here. It doesn't look bad. This guy's clearly well thought out. Yeah. I don't know what he is. But... So, oh wait, uh, hold on. yeah, this is this is El, this is uh, e, this is emo Elrond. <laughs> Yeah, I know this. Yeah, he needs to push his glasses up his nose in a reflection. Uh, you know, no, hold on. I want, right. I want the, I want the like emo yeah. staring at the camera. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and then our, uh, uh, let's see, yeah, our our dwarf princess here. All right, we can clearly see there's no beard now. Like no, that definitely. Cybern theory is gone. Ah. Uh. Which was not a good theory anyway. That would have not have saved anything. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. What was we? Anyway, we got to catch those stills. Uh, yeah. Stills of those Let's quick, see. quick, clickbait. Is this an elf here? That's the yeah, ladder. That's I the think. whole. That's the point. Oh, never mind. No, that's pointy ears. Too young. Wait, what's what's? Does the pointy ears indicate it's not Galadriel? I thought she. Uh, yeah, I know you're right. She's one of the, the. I don't know. Yeah, I think I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell from. Uh, Not all the else had twenty years in yeah, Tolkien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Let's see. From the beginning, where is? Yeah. Uh, Have they shown her ears yet? No, because like this is the only other shot of her face we have. Well, we have the ones still from the marketing yeah. pictures, but I think she has her hair over them, if I remember. Yeah. Anyway. That is somebody on a raft. That could be Galadriel. She does end up on a raft. I did I see like that. How she doesn't look like she's wearing anything. I hope they don't do something stupid. Well, we did see there. There was going to be a non Game of Thrones level nudity. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully they meant something more than that. You can't make Galadriel ever, ever, no. ever without clothes. You no. cannot even suggest it. She was no. born wearing clothes. That's yeah. I think I almost think that's exactly what you have to suggest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I I really I don't I don't know what like so somebody's grabbing her hair, finding out that she's got pointy ears. I I don't know. as if that matters. I, Are they gonna? Is there gonna be racism between elves and men now? Oh I mean, no! Obviously, right? That's like that's straight from like other fantasy. Other fantasy has. Pointy ears, though, he yeah, uses like yeah. derogatory terms or whatever. Yeah. Knife but ears. I, that's yeah. the one I know. But I, I do know Galadriel ends up on the raft, so this is probably her. <sighs> yeah, it wouldn't make any sense to hide that she was an elf or to reveal it as unless it mattered. Yeah. I wonder what they're thinking. I don't know. That's the right. story of watching this whole thing. I wonder what they're thinking. <laughs> I mean, wait, I think she is wearing something here. She, it's just, it's yeah, very you can oh, right, yeah, yeah, right yeah. there. Thank, thank yeah. you, thank you, you Jesus. See. Thank you, Amazon. Yeah, you could see a, a shoulder line. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. we're good. We're good. All False right. alarm. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. There it is. Cut to a know. naked dude. <laughs> yeah, think, uh... Right. Go straight from this to the more. <laughs> It's not. He's wearing something. Wow! Thank uh, God, Galadriel's in clothes. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's yeah. going on here? I have no idea. Like this scene only lasts for like you know half a second in the. Yeah, um, you can't even tell who they are <laughs> unless they're. In... All right. Is this a? Oh, that's a good still. I didn't see that one as we were playing before. Yeah. So There's some sort some, of forest fire. Some dude right there. Can you see my mouse? Am I sharing? Yeah, yeah, I can okay. see. Okay, yeah. So there's a dude like right there. Yep. He has Dance clothes down. on too. <laughs> yeah. So I don't. Yeah. No idea. No idea what's happening here. Good. I don't know. Something exploding. You can go forward like one frame at a time. I think if you use the uh, period oh. and comma keys. Oh, let's see. At Hold least. on. Ooh, I didn't know you. Could, I didn't know. Ah. Nice frame by frame analysis. Yeah, this is what the people want. 
from us. <laughs> Here we have dwarves like cutting some Look stuff. Look at all those excellent, excellent beards. Yep. That's all. <laughs> I want to say that, yeah, all right. Chopping some stuff. I wonder what's going on with that. And then yeah, here, know. more oh, over the top guy. stunts. Yeah, more over the top shit. Yeah. Woo! There's our... He's got some sort of chain on him. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure... He's I'm being sure that, made yeah. to fight something in an arena or something. Yeah. Chain on a black dude. I'm sure it's not symbolic Is it a black of anything. Guy? That's yeah, not, that's, I, thought, I thought it was a white guy. That, no, that's that one elf. That's, that's the, the elf, guy. dude. Yeah. 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 I think I so. Can't, oh, it was hair. It, looks, it could be yeah. him. Uh, it looked... Uh, I'm I, can't, sure I cannot tell. tell I can't tell, guys. yeah. Uh, I would guess that it's him, though. I think it Elves is. don't wield weapons like that. No, but look, he does have They're the pointy ears. You can tell that in the... I actually can't tell. No? It's too too pixelated for me, and it's not small. I'm pretty yeah. sure he, it. I'm pretty sure it's him, Joe. All right. Sad. What is he doing? Yeah. He's not. He's not actually fighting. He's. He's. He's jumping from something, and he's about okay, to use sad. his axe to latch on to whatever that is. Oh, you're right. He's gonna and pull a Galadriel and climb himself up. Maybe yeah. so. Right. This yeah. next scene actually looks encouraging. Go that. That looks. That looks more like you know. That's reminiscent of Helm's Deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some sort of good battle. Yeah, it might it might actually be good there. Um, there's some orcs. We got some orcs for the first time, isn't it? Mm. Is that what this is right here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Black hair coming out the back of the helmet. You see? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we are, haven't we haven't guys, really heard anything about is, orcs. These guys yet. are surrounded, actually, aren't they? Uh, that's what. Yeah, that's uh, kind of what this looks like. See, they're all they're yeah, all kind of facing out so. in some way. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's encouraging. I like this setup here. This is whoever came up with this looks like. Yeah, you can see all the orcs here, too. Like, it looks like they're being surrounded or pushed back or something. I think there's orcs behind them. Um, like, there's yeah. a dark figure back there. Yeah, can't see too clearly, but yeah. They're I mean, they're clearly, like, you got one guy facing the right and then right behind him, a guy facing the left. So I mm -hmm. think they're being pushed from all sides. Yeah. That looks like an interesting scene. It looks desperate and dark, but not like. Out of tone, you know. Mm -hmm. Desperate in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Desperate in a good way. Yeah. Um. All right, child or hobbit? It's the perpetual question of Tolkien's work, isn't it? Stutter. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a child to me. I think it's a child too. I'm gonna go yeah. with child because the hand doesn't look grown. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Unless they were what, using what's, a what, kid. Is there an important thing. kid in these stories that we know of that they could be alluding not to that, here? Not that I recall. Not who's a child. Well, that would be... I mean, I don't mind if they introduce a child who is important in some way. Um, I like those sorts of themes. Well, that, look at how, look at how many characters we've seen that are already new introductions. Well, that's exactly what they need to be doing, in my opinion. I don't see enough new characters. If they, I think I made this point last time. If they make a story about Galadriel, then they're stuck with her story. They've got to tell her story. They can't explore anymore. And there's just not a lot of details and there's a lot of room to mess up. Whereas if Galadriel is like doing her thing in the background, like she is in the trilogy, write new characters that are undergoing this grand narrative that's being driven by all these other big characters and they're trying to influence it in their own way or they're trying to survive in their own way they're trying to achieve their own goals in their own way whatever you can make all of that up and just slide it right into the general grand narrative leaving it general hmm. you know uh, yeah. but if you make it about the major defined characters then you can but that's who the story is about well, they can't tell that story. That's the whole point, and that's the problem, I think. If they try to tell that story, they're just bound to mess up. I don't know that like a story over 2,000 years would very neatly translate, but even if it did, um, I don't know. Like That's just not the easy road here. I'm, well, yeah. I mean, I'm not about the easy road. I want a good story, but and I want to see the yeah. source. I want to see the source material kind of Come be, adapt, be adapted yeah. yeah come to life 
Not, yeah, I do too. Like if, I mean, if there's I'm, if there's any critique that I could have of Tolkien, it would not be that he didn't have enough characters. But what what's good what's good about the Lord of the Rings is that like uh I mean the 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 small characters become big characters by the end. But like in the beginning, uh the fellowship, especially into the two towers, even really up until the last maybe 90 minutes of the return of the king all of our main characters are relatively small players like both literally and figuratively frodo has the one ring but think about who he was mm -hmm. one little guy that got taken up into all of this sure but i mean like but how many of those you know even even the lord of the rings is about the little guy that's the, yes. the, the point but but now we're inventing little guys or yeah little, exactly you know, that's the, that's, I was there's, saying, that's there's, not part of the story. Well, no, no, no. Tolkien didn't say these. These are the characters that live in the Second Age: Galadriel. No, uh, yeah, all right, yeah. He didn't do that, and he didn't do that deliberately because he always wants that horizon to be a little bit further than you thought it was. There's always room to tell another story in Middle Earth, and I think they could have told literally whatever story they wanted and sort of caught it up in all of these major events and still explore the major events. We could have seen it from the perspective of the little guy and really felt the desperation as Numenor is collapsing around him or as Sauron is invading and taking over everything up and up to Rivendell. You know, there's a lot of things that could happen. I'm not saying don't include Galadriel, but if you make it Galadriel story, what you have to do is give her a character arc. Mm -hmm. Got to do it, and then you've already broken it. How Galadriel do doesn't go on character arcs. Mm -hmm. Galadriel is as perfect as they come. Oh well, I mean, I guess yeah. It depends on what you mean then by like character arc. The only thing character arc means is a character grows and develops. Yeah, growth and they development. Learn something. Yes, they go through. Uh, trials and tribulations yeah. well she certainly loss. but i mean she's certainly involved in a lot and she does suffer loss like a lot of loss yeah yeah but that's, different, of, but that's different, different, different from being yeah it'd be like if lord of the rings was about arc. gandalf now right? see i I'm, I'm curious about that story dude wanders around for like seven thousand years no, no no like if they just told the trilogy like from gandalf's perspective or something like mm -hmm. gave him the I guess he was still struggled with the one ring. But the point I'm trying to make is that Gandalf doesn't like really go through trials and tribulations. He fights the Belrog and he's brought back, but that's really like it. He's always this guy that everybody is measured against rather than somebody who's trying to measure himself up. Yeah. But but the stories that are that resonate with people are the ones where we're trying to measure ourselves up because that's what everybody's trying to do. Mm -hmm. Nobody thinks of themselves as the measure. So yeah, the point the and like specifically though, like in in a character arc, uh, the trials and tribulations are meant to change the character and make them yeah, like, yeah, better yeah. than they were before. A character can go through trials and tribulations without having to learn anything. Right. Uh, but usually when that happens, it's really not exciting to watch. It's not Yeah, think about like the Passion of the around. Christ or something. Where yeah, that, that wasn't exciting all the, to watch at all. No, it's not. It's you're not watching and thinking like, "Oh man, Christ is Christ." He's is a like better me man after, you know, yeah, after no. having been crucified. And, 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 and Mel Gibson had the sense to know that that wasn't the kind of film he was making. Yeah. You know, he mm. didn't push that angle or in any way. Um, is it's not really a story in the sense that I'm talking about. It's not a narrative that involves characters growing and developing. Um, it's more about an event. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And event stories, I think everybody, uh, I'll say something maybe controversial, everybody who saw Dunkirk realized that event stories are not exciting. <laughs> that they do not draw you in. Hmm. Is that controversial? <laughs> I don't know. I kind uh, of enjoyed Dunkirk. We've probably said more controversial things. This is true. This stream, so. Yeah, sure. Anyway. That's it. Yeah. There it is. All right. So